All right, let's talk about what you're going to get when you order a Faraday cage tester. So what you get is you get first a set of two-way radios. Now these are the Baofeng BF888S, which are very good quality, very highly reviewed two-way radios. All right, they come with rechargeable stands and rechargeable batteries. So obviously one of the first things you want to do is just go ahead and charge up your radios before you start building up the assembly. All right, so the radios are the first thing you get. The second thing you get is this enclosure. Now it's not just a normal enclosure. It's got a conductive gasket all the way around the inside seam here. So that's very important because we have to seal this box up really tight against RF energy. Okay. I tested a large number of boxes and this is the only one I could find that met my requirements. All right. Now what you'll notice about this, this box is that it also has a hole drilled in one end and we're going to use that to mount our antenna. All right. You'll see that in just a minute. I'll drill that hole for you so you don't have to worry about its location or its size. All right. So you'll get this enclosure. It comes with a lid that has six screws that will hold it nice and tight together. Okay, so that's the, the enclosure that comes with it. And then the next thing you get is you get a variable attenuator. Now, there are a lot of variable attenuators out there and they all look, seem like very similar. Some of them work well and some of them don't work well. Now, I tested a number of them and verified with a network analyzer that indeed this thing does work as promised. I'll do a separate video showing that. Um, but so if you dial in, you know, 20 dB of attenuation, you really do reduce the signal by 20 dB. Okay. So again, this thing just lets you program the amount of loss that you get as you go through the unit, right? We're going to use that inside of our receiver box. Okay. So this is the next thing you get is this variable attenuator. All right. The next thing you're going to get is a set of uh, connections, RF connectors. All right. There's a total of seven of them. All right. So there are two 90 degree connectors that have a threaded end and then sort of a screw end here where, you know, where the threads are on the inside. And then you're going to get three barrels, okay, where you can turn either side. And you're going to get two parts that just have basically threads on both ends, okay? So those seven pieces we're going to use to build up the assembly. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it and build it up. First thing we do is we take our attenuator, and what you'll notice is there's an input side and an output side, and you want to make sure that you put the input side through the hole on the box, okay? You put it through there, then you take one of the barrels and you just tighten it around the threads that poke through. All right, so you just tighten it on there and you just get it good and finger tight, nice and finger tight there. And that holds the attenuator in place. All right, so that will be held in place. The next thing you're gonna do is take one of the radios, it doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna remove the antenna. All right, now it's too strong to have the antenna directly connected to the radio, it just brings in too much energy. So we're gonna take that off and we're going to take one of these double threaded parts and we're going to screw it into where the antenna was. All right, so we're going to screw that in there. In place of the antenna, we're just going to put that double threaded connector. All right, so that's that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the 90 degree connectors and we're going to attach it to the other end of this attenuator. So we're just going to put our fingers in here and get this thing started. All right, it shouldn't be too terrible. Just try not to cross thread anything, of course and just get it nice and loose finger tight, all right? Kind of loose finger tight. We got that piece on there. Then what we're gonna do is take a barrel and attach it to that 90. So we'll attach it there. All right, so it's just gonna attach right here to the other part that you just put on. All right, again, finger tight only. And then we're gonna take the other 90, we're gonna use the threaded part, and we're gonna screw it onto this barrel that we just attached to the other 90, all right? So when we're done, we're going to end up with something that looks like that, attached to the end of the attenuator. Okay, three pieces, a 90, a barrel, and a 90. Now, why did we do that? That's what we're going to attach our radio to. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach our radio by just directly connecting it to that last 90 that we put on. We just get it nice and snug, finger tight again here. And so we have something like that when we get done. All right. Now, the reason we do that is it lets us fold the radio over and set it down in the channel there, all right? So that lets us put the product together. Now we're gonna go back and tighten up these internal connections with our fingers. We don't have to do tools on them. We can just finger tight it all. And we're gonna get them all nice and snug, all right? There should be four connections in there. We're gonna make sure are all nice and snug, all right? And we'll end up with a system that looks like this, all right? The last thing we're gonna do is take that antenna that we took off, and we're going to attach it to the top of the box, this barrel at the top. All right, get it nice and snug. Make sure that that's still snug to hold the attenuator in. And there you go. 
All right, so that is the receive side. That's the part that takes most of the energy building up. Um, again, what we did is we put in the attenuator, we attached the barrel at the top, we built up this set of connectors, we attached the radio to it and folded it down, finger tightened everything, and attached the antenna to the outside. All right, and that's really it on the receive side. When we get ready, we'll set the attenuator to a certain value, we'll turn on the radio all the way up, make sure the channel's set right, and then we'll put the lid on and secure all the screws. Okay, don't do that part yet because we have to talk about how to set the attenuator. The next piece is to get the transmit side ready, and it's pretty easy. You just remove the antenna, again, because the antenna just provides too much signal and it, our experiment wouldn't be able to work. So we take it off and we build up our own sort of miniature antenna. We take one of these double threaded pieces, we thread it in here, we screw it into where the antenna goes. All right, and then we take that last remaining connector, which should be a barrel, and we just attach it to that threaded part. And what we've done is we've kind of created a little miniature antenna that's not nearly as powerful as the antenna that comes with the radio, okay? This is the full system built up, okay? The transmit side and the receive side, all right? So the whole thing would take less than five minutes, even if you're careful, to get it all put together. 